you're about to witness the wild side of nature. Combining some of the best amateur and professional footage from around the world, we reveal incredible animal behavior. Whether it's a tourist with a camcorder, a ranger on a game drive, or just someone in the right place at the right time, the cameras never stop rolling. Each remarkable clip is broken down to reveal the truth behind the footage as eyewitnesses relive their heart-stopping experiences on camera. And top wildlife experts take us on a journey of explanation and discovery. From rare sightings, incredible kills, hilarious antics to nail-biting escapes, this is wildlife caught in the act. It's a risky business working in the wilds of Africa. Dangers abound and an exciting but unpredictable day is always guaranteed. Fences enclose many of our last wilderness areas, disrupting the natural movement of animals and making it necessary for game capture teams to intervene and move these animals to more suitable habitats. Preventing unnecessary stress and discomfort for the animal is top priority to every member of these teams. But things don't always go according to plan. Clive Curtis, an experienced game capture specialist, was running a routine translocation operation in KwaZulu-Natal when disaster struck. We had darted a sub-adult giraffe cow from the helicopter. The helicopter was keeping tabs on her from the air, keeping comms with us on the ground. Clive's mum, Pam, is a keen videographer and often accompanies him on game captures to document the events on film. It was always a good opportunity with Clive being involved with game capture that I could take a camera and follow the movements of the boys and the animals that they were after. Giraffe especially always offered a good focal for filming because you knew something was going to be exciting somewhere along the line. She started getting the symptoms of being semi-drugged. The head was up and she was starting to trot. But what will often happen when they get to this stage is that even by coming down with a helicopter just in front of them, they'll just carry on going for the chopper. You've actually got to lift the chopper up and they just carry on running underneath. A giraffe can grow to a height of nearly six meters and run at a pace of almost 60 kilometers per hour there's certainly no easy catch. We had the radio call from the helicopter saying that she's headed in the direction of the dam. Now, we all know this property very well. We all knew that where she's going is going to be problems. If she gets in that water, we've got something pretty special to deal with. A friend of mine leapt into the truck. I leapt in next to her. I just had the camera rolling through the windscreen, and we just took off in the direction of the dam. It was starting to get a little bit panicky by this stage. But despite the chopper's best efforts to herd the giraffe in the opposite direction, their worst fears were realized. On the ground, Clive raced to the water's edge, his heart pounding. They were too late. She hit the water running. The giraffe had got probably a good 30, 40 meters into the dam, but because of the mud, she had lost her footing and now fallen over. Our main concern was to get that giraffe's head out the water because obviously she's semi-drugged at this stage and we realized that the chances of losing this giraffe were pretty good. As we got to the edge of the dam, we didn't even turn the truck off. We just opened doors, bailed out, and ran. We got in there, we lifted her head out the water, and she's fighting it, and she's kicking, and she's doing her thing. Standing on the shoreline, you felt absolutely helpless. There was nothing you could do. The mobilizing drug gets reversed immediately. We've got to get the vet in there because we need to get that giraffe around as soon as possible. There's quite a danger element when you Dealing with an animal like this, a giraffe who's got huge feet, long legs. A giraffe kick will put somebody in hospital straight away. A giraffe can shatter a lion's skull with one tremendous blow and render a man dead with one fatal flick of its hoof. Clive and his team needed to calm this animal as quickly as possible. We managed to get the blindfold on. We managed to get the earplugs in. We got the halter on. We managed to push her up sideways and get her sitting there and just leave her to relax for a little while. Our biggest problem here was going to be capture myopathy and that she was going to kill over and die from stress. The physical exertion and constraint of an animal, plus a high level of stress and fear during the capture process, can result in oxygen depletion in the muscles. This can lead to the fatal failure of one or many of the animal's vital organs. Getting onto her feet wasn't easy. She tried to get up, her feet were sticking in the mud, 
and she just couldn't do it. The most exciting part was when she reared up. And she actually rolled back over again onto the other side. Up until that point, everybody had thought that we were winning and things were going fairly smoothly considering. After this sort of 40 minute ordeal that we had with the giraffe in the water, we got her onto her feet and we got to the shore, we got out of the water, everybody was soaking wet. We walked her up into the field crate. She actually loaded like a dream. She didn't have any problem and everybody just breathed a huge sigh of relief. Thanks to quick thinking, the team managed to save the day from a disastrous end. None the worse for her ordeal, the giraffe reluctantly left the trailer and cautiously took her first steps into her new home, safe and sound.